Welcome everybody to yet another episode of Pastor Mike's Quick Shots. And I want to pick up on where we left off on Sunday. Uh, some of you here in, in DeGraff had a great youth Sunday service. And then the others at Maplewood, you had uh, the picking up where we left off and you had the trust Jesus in suffering. And I know for as great of a time as we had in DeGraff, it is still happening to us. We are still going through troubles and trials. There are still issues that we have to face. And no matter how many praises and joys that we can bring, there are still struggles and trials in our life. There's still cancer to be beaten. There is still a fight for healing and deliverance. There's still answers that aren't there for problems that we can no longer deal with in our own strength. Friends, I want to encourage you today with Psalm 144. I've been in uh, my devotional this week has been a Restoration by Christian rapper Lecrae. And one of the songs that he has on his latest album is called Drown. And it feels a lot like that at times. It feels overwhelming and it feels like a burden. And here in Psalm 144, I'm going to start at verse 1 and 2, then 3 and 4, and then I'll close up with verse 11. But I want you to take a look at verse Psalm 144 with me today. Praise the Lord, who is my rock. He trains my hands for war and gives my fingers skill for battle. He is my loving ally and my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer. He is my shield, and I take refuge in him. He makes the nations submit to me. O oh Lord, what are human beings that you should notice them? Mere mortals that you should think about them, for they are like a breath of air. Their days are like a passing shadow. Verse 11. Save me. Rescue me from the power of my enemies. Their mouths are full of lies. They swear to tell the truth but they lie instead. Friends, I want to assure you today that the pain and the hurt and the suffering that you feel is very real. This world that we live in is not meant for uh, anything but sin and death and all the problems that come with it. The great news is, is that we have a God that loved us enough that paid an ultimate sacrifice for our sin. He showed up, not to be our king for here, for now, but he came to be our king for eternity. He came to give us a, a gift that we can't pay back, a gift that we don't deserve. He gave us eternal life. Now, from beginning of our life here on this earth till the end of it is going to be trouble. There is going to be circumstances. And one of the things that we cannot do is listen to the enemy. We can't let the, the lies of the devil tell us that it's too much. Where's your God? How can I possibly make it through this another day? God is here. He is with us. He is always on our side. I want to give you some words from uh, my devotional this week. Again, this is restoration from Lecrae. He says, Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is our constant, our rock. The beautiful thing about trials is that it is in the midst of our suffering, our foundations are tested, and we see what remains standing. In the Psalms, we see the vulnerability of David, a king, who despite his victories and mighty confidence, still faced defeat and trials. He knew what it was like to have no control over his circumstances and feel surrounded by his enemies. He also knew exactly who to turn to as his source of hope, as his mighty rock, and has his firm foundation. May we also not forget that our King Jesus also knew what it was like to walk in the midst of a broken world, facing temptations, and needing his own bailout. 
Friends, I don't pretend that uh, Jesus' death and resurrection could be considered a bailout, but he had to know that he wasn't going to stay dead. He had to know that as he was being beaten and hung on a cross, that this was not going to be the end of the story. He had to know that as he took his last breath in a, in a human form, that the story was just beginning. Friends, I hope and pray that you have a great week, that whatever the circumstances are that you're facing, that you will continue to dig, continue to look, continue to search for God. He is there. And it might take a miracle for you to see him in the midst of your pain and hurt, but I guarantee you he's there. Friends, I hope you join us in Maplewood at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning for Holy Communion and worship and 1030 here in DeGraff. I pray that the rest of your week will be full of enriching moments, miracles will happen, and you will get to see a glimpse of the enemy's lies and God's truth. Friends, in closing, feel free to pray the prayer that's going to come up and have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.